We're here at the Museum of Northern Arizona in Flagstaff. I'm Alan Peterson, the Curator of Fine Arts here. And we're here celebrating Slow Art Day. Slow Art Day is an international celebration of visual art. The whole concept is about slowing down, calming your mind, and immersing yourself in works of art. The goal is to not just simply appreciate the painting in this case, but to try to gain some insight into the artist and maybe some of the more subtle things that they've included in their artwork. Hi, I'm Samantha Morani. I'm the Bookstore and Publications Manager here at the Museum of Northern Arizona. And today we're gonna enjoy some art in our upcoming exhibition. So Samantha, I think it would be most comfortable to sit down, have a chair. Sitting. I'm at it. And we're going to take a look at this painting by Bobby Whitethorn called Thank You for Directions. And, you know, initially you're just going to be looking at the, you know, the overall image and composition and colors and figures. But I think that, you know, the beauty of Slow Art Day really is about looking at the nuances, at the subtlety. So it's about looking for those, but also trying to put those into the context of the painting and asking yourself what meaning you know does that do those types of details add to the work of art Okay, time is up. Put down your number two yellow pencil. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> so, Samantha, you've been sitting here looking at um, Bobby's painting for about 10 minutes. What do you think? I think it's amazing, you know, taking the time to really appreciate all the subtle details and the maybe not so subtle details that he put into the piece. I think I wouldn't have gotten that if I hadn't really sat and taken time to look at it and examine it in that way. And it's just so nice because it's a really ta a time that I was able to like take out and just only think about this is almost meditative. So okay. the thing that I liked was the little slingshot in the back of his pocket and then the way his hair I've is up. <laughs> and just all those little things that he put in that convey so much and so me it's so meaningful that he really took time to include those in the painting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Yes. Um, what else did you notice? I really like that, although there isn't as much conveyed right here in the bottom part of the piece, you really focus in on the detail that is included. So mm -hmm. the way that he did the texture of the Hogan, the way that he had the you know shadows in the shade house, and then even in his garment, the way his jeans are depicted as being kind of wrinkled. Mm -hmm. I feel like it adds so much life to the piece and there's just so much that you can take in from those details that he added. You know, at first glance, you would think, oh, man, it's, it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward, but it's not until you take the time to sit down and appreciate everything that you see, the birds and the way they're all kind of facing the same way. Mm -hmm. What does that say about the movement of the wind and the time of the day and the shadows? So. There's just so much in there. It's interesting that you mentioned the direction of the wind and the birds, because if this is Mount Taylor, and that's the sun rising, so this is morning prayer. We know that we're looking east, which is the direction you know, that one prays. Mm -hmm. And and I what I like about it so much is the, the the posture of the man over here and how he's in this kind of traditional prayerful kind of gesture, you know and. <laughs> It's funny you mentioned the jeans. I loved how you did the jeans. Yes. <laughs> You're so spot on. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think um, something that I really appreciate about this exercise is that it really helped me sit down and take the time to appreciate something that he created. So he took the time to paint it, and now I'm taking the time to appreciate it. And I think that's such a wonderful connection that people you know, like us, viewers, can take to enjoy something. Yeah, yeah. Th that's, a really, that's a really great point. And every artist 
who I can think of, would appreciate hearing that. Yes. <laughs> because I, I, I was thinking, you know, we'll sit down and read a book and spend maybe hours doing yeah. that. Or even just reading a poem, you know, even a mm -hmm. short poem. You know, we have to sit down and focus to do that. Yeah. And most of the time, visitors walking through a gallery like this will look at something like this for maybe 10 seconds. Yes. <laughs> you know, and get the gestalt, yeah. get the overall view. But we're not really accustomed to, you know, sitting down and mm -hmm. treating a work of visual art like we would a poem. Yeah. Even though, you know, this really is a poem in visual form. Yeah. It kind of reminds me, like growing up, we had um, CDs, and like before that, there were albums. So mm -hmm. I had this conversation. <laughs> with an analogy, people. I know where you're yes. going. Yes. So people would create these, and you would listen to them in their entirety. Right. It wasn't so piecemeal as it can be today. Yeah. So in that way, you know, you really have to take it holistically, mm -hmm. and I feel like taking the time to look at this and really appreciate it for more than five minutes. I think you're really able to gain a greater appreciation for it. Yeah.